hello good morning students hope you are safe and sound in your houses we have completed seven chapters today we move on to the eighth chapter delhi during the medieval period so children move on to their tour to north india where they are interested in history and so they have collected information about the rulers of delhi in their diary that this tour diary was read in the classroom and what was read out was as below so delhi was ruled by many dynasties by many kings different kings ruled delhi as you all know children that india was a golden bird india was called the golden bird in the ancient time everyone wanted to rule over india so let us see which rulers ruled india during the medieval period yes children i repeat india was attacked by many arab invasions those who were slaves in the arab countries they ruled over india so delhi sultanate saw the first slave of the gulam dynasty and it was founded in the beginning of the 13th century after the death of gori one of his loyal slaves became the commander and established control over the throne of delhi so in this chapter we will learn about the slave dynasty which ruled over delhi they were the slaves but they ruled over delhi thus the slave dynasty started ruling over delhi though he faced many difficulties in establishing his power in india he managed to provide a stable administration and he had started the construction of a minar his son in law altomish who succeeded him completed the construction of that minar the minar which came to be known as the famous qutub minar so this very beautiful monument which is which was constructed by altomish is in delhi and it was constructed during the rule of altomish who belong to the slave dynasty the architectural style in which qutub minar was constructed is a mixture of both hindu and the muslim styles this place was the capital during the sultanate age altomish was also a slave in the beginning he conquered many territories in india and made them a part of the delhi sultanate so he is known as the founder of the slave dynasty his daughter razia sultana ascended the throne after his death in 1036 ce razia was the first female ruler sultana to rule over delhi so after the death of altamish his daughter razia sultana ruled over delhi Razia was an efficient ruler she used to dress as a male when she was in the court according to a historian of that time minhas e siraj razia was a more capable and efficient ruler than her brothers however being a woman she was not accepted as a ruler so in this male dominated society women were less accepted as a ruler amir umraus umraus are the scholars disliked razia as a ruler 
Razia's rule came to an end due to the interference of the Amirs. There was complete disorder in the Sultanate for six years after her death. So, after the death of Razia, there was total confusion and disorder in the Sultanate of Delhi for six years. At last, the Amirs enthroned Nasruddin, the son of Altamish, after her death. He ruled for 21 years. After his death, Gyazuddin Balban ascended the throne of Delhi. He was a strong ruler who brought an end to the disorder and established peace. So, as there was total disorder in the Sultanate during Razia's rule, this Gyasuddin Balban, he was the ruler after Nasruddin and he brought order and peace in Delhi. Balban has been the wazir of Nasruddin for 20 years. Subsequently, he ruled as Sultan for 22 years. His descendants were weak and the Khilji dynasty established its rule over Delhi. So, his, his descendants were weak and the Khilji dynasty established its rule over Delhi. Yes, children, go through the textbook and see the video and relate the things with the textbook and I hope that you will be able to understand the chapter and any doubts I will be solving in my live session. Till then, thank you.